Congratulations, you clicked on this video and I appreciate you for using your time to get better at Rainbow Six Siege. When I switched from console to PC about 2 years ago, I had a lot of bad habits and I watched good players and always wondered, how do they think so smart? Why do the decisions always work out and mine don't? I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of at that level now, but I wouldn't say I'm perfect now because I'm always still learning, but it's definitely progress from where I was two years ago. I'll share my personal secrets that really helped me out of the ruts and through the slumps at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. We're almost at 18,000 subs. And if you want to be a part of the first 18,000, that would be awesome. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if it does help you out. Let's break down what is smart thinking and how can we achieve smart thinking. Smart thinking is leading yourself to put yourself in the advantage, therefore benefiting your team to closer to get closer to the victory. Now you can't always be the advantage of the gunfight or whatever enemy you're facing up, but it's kind of working through those um, when the odds are against you, you're able to work against those and put yourself in that advantage. For example, if you're in a 1v5 situation, you're not in the advantage and the odds are against you because it's one of you versus five enemies. So we're going to talk about stuff like how can you break that down? How can you make it a 1v1 one, uh, to make it down to a 1v4, you know, get your try to work those picks kind of like a thinking through that. So one thing you must get down about smart thinking is that it's not always about being right. It's rather avoiding the bad decisions. So how can we achieve this high level of thinking? Well, there's two pillars I broke it down for you guys, and we're about to talk about that right now. It's important that you guys keep with you that it's all about putting in the effort and learning from other players. By putting in the effort, I'd say a minimum of three hours of Siege a day. If you cannot get at least three hours of Siege a day, I would try to organize time for it if you really want to get better. Or it's kind of the minimum I found of enough ranked games a day to get yourself learning on a on a constant speed now i'm not saying you have to put in three hours a day or anything like that but the point is is that you're putting in the effort to get better you're putting in the time to actually learn this game fail get better get up fail get up all that kind of stuff it's just if you want to be at a high level with other people they put in the work so you can't really get to a place if you didn't put the same amount of work as them and that makes any sense you know nothing is handed easy to you you gotta have to work for those rewards so by putting in the time and all that kind of stuff is learning from each death. How could you have played a, a death better? How can you avoid that in the future? Maybe you're kind of walking in a hallway. You didn't check that angle. So maybe next time you walk in that hallway, the next game, you can check that angle and possibly get yourself a kill and learn those common spots. The more you play this game, you'll learn the common spots and the strategies and you'll be able to be caught off guard a lot less. And like we said earlier, it's not always about making the right decision rather than actually avoiding the bad decisions. Now through this time, you're playing at least three hours a day. You're learning from every death. But remember, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. That's kind of the process of becoming a, a good player. A good thinker knows what a bad decision is. And if you want to make a lot of good decisions, you're going to have to know what's not going to work out for you. Now putting in the effort is key, but... You know, you want to be a smart worker, but you also want to be a hard worker. And one thing that helped me become a better thinker is learning from other players that are already at the place that I want to be at. You know, when I was a gold on console, I would watch diamond players. I would see how how are they at diamond? How do they win those gunfights that I can't handle out gold? So I would watch better players, whether that's on Twitch or YouTube. I would compare your thinking to their thinking. Not 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 comparing their aim and all kind of stuff like oh why can't i aim like that all this stuff like that you want to compare of what would i think in their situation and then you will see how they think and then what actions they're going to do you be like oh i would have done that i probably would have died if i did that so you would see the the nits and bits of why they made that decision and you can analyze with yourself the more stuff you'll watch the more you'll learn that you never knew about and by learning from others you can learn how to counter some sort of strategy let's say if you can't go up, you keep going up against a shield on a certain doorway and there's a ton of ADSs and one Y zone. You can watch how um, different teammates burn the utility by like Zofia stuns, grenades, all that kind of stuff. And you can apply those strategies to your gameplay the next time that comes in your way, you know what to do because you watched it before you've seen how it is played out correctly. And Rainbow is all about information like callouts, positioning, and adapting to the situation based on the information you're given at the moment. And that's the, the kind of mini secret I want to talk with you guys today is adapting. Like I said earlier, 
this is no secret that I came up with, it's just something that hasn't really been taught to me when I've been playing this game. You'll hear me talk about default plans, default spots, and you're like, what are the default spots? And the, what, what does default mean? Default means kind of the structure of gameplay that is very common throughout players. So as you play this game and time goes on, you'll be learning the structures of how certain bomb sites are played, what utility is being placed where, where, is the, where are the roamers going to be at, where are the anchors going to be at, where are the angles are they watching, all that kind of stuff. So that way you'll be a lot faster and more consistent with your attacks and defend defenses. And sometimes that structured gameplay can uh, be tilted a little bit. You know, something, some things might catch you off guard. So it's really important that you're adapting to a certain playstyle of the players you're going against. Maybe they're really aggressive, they're offsite, all that kind of stuff. So instead of dealing with their aggression offsite, why don't you try to rush the bomb and get the bomb down? Because that's the objective at the end of the day, you know? So it's kind of targeting their weaknesses and how can you put yourself in that advantage with that smarter thinking. You want to be a smart worker, but also you want to be a hard worker. So don't make the challenge harder for yourself. Instead, try to break it down to many pieces of how you can achieve that faster. These are one of the very many videos that I'll be making of how to think like a better player. So if you took any kind of benefit from this video, I would appreciate if you left a comment of maybe what bomb site you struggle with. And I would try to make a, even a video about it, but I'm most likely trying to respond to you. And I'm about to be live on Twitch, so I will see you guys in the next video.